So I'm out here at Motorverse, which is Royal Enfield's way of celebrating motorcycling every year. A massive event that happens out in Goa. And over here is the electric testbed uh, motorcycle that's based on the Himalayan. And as you can see, there's a lot of different bits and parts to it. So this is not by any way a production ready vehicle. In fact, Royal Enfield says that this is just their test bed for them testing out new technologies uh, that go in with uh, an electric motorcycle. And uh, they have obviously Stark as uh, one of their partners to help them with this. And uh, the battery pack, they've given it a bit of design, uh, obviously a little bit of functionality in terms of cooling as well. You can see the fins up close. There's a pretty decent amount over there. So there's a lot of tech going into it, a lot of research. They're working on uh, figuring out a lot about future bikes. And this one being based on the Himalayan is actually a very interesting piece of work. And uh, if you were to ask me, it almost looks uh, production ready. But uh, right now, Royal Enfield has not unveiled any plans of the Himalayan going electric. This is just a test bed and like I said, this is what they use to test all their new tech out on when it's all things electric. As far as going electric is concerned, uh, you might be familiar with the fact that uh, Royal Enfield did launch uh, a brand new sub-brand uh, called the Flying Flea. And uh, they do have an electric motorcycle coming out uh, in 2026. And a lot of that tech was actually tested on this bike as well. So that's just to show you uh, what uh, Royal Enfield has been up to. Uh, having said that, as a test mule, this is a very interesting piece of uh, equipment over here. Looks great. I think uh, there's a lot riding for it in terms of uh, what they've managed to do. Uh, of course, with the bike, uh, there's a challenge of uh, weight, range, ensuring that the batteries can give you that sort of range. I mean, just look at uh, the way that it's been packaged over here. So you can see that uh, there's a lot that has gone in in terms of uh, R&D. Uh, the shocks are different from the standard uh, Himalayan. So if you were to look at these, you know, uh, obviously to compensate for weight. So on the standard one, they are a little thinner, but uh, yeah, just gives you an idea of uh, what you get. So you've got the electric and you've got the standard over there, just for a quick comparison. Uh, you can take a look at that. And right here, back to the electric. So again, uh, you've got the electric motor that's uh, driving the chain right down to the rear wheel. And uh, uh, even uh, the swing arm over here is very different. So very chunky, very big, uh, something that's uh, quite different and uh, definitely uh, giving the bike a slightly different character when you compare it with the standard version. As you can see, this has a very different uh, set up over here. Even the chain runs a little different on that. This is a little bit more flat But uh, they've kept the mono shock. That's again something that's uh, quite interesting about the bike other bits obviously Neat foot pegs for that added grip. Uh, they do intend on keeping that adventure element going so This has been ridden around by test riders extensively uh, a lot of testing uh, in the Himalayas, uh, in various terrains, and uh, obviously uh, it's uh, held up pretty decently. Uh, Royal Enfield is confident that they can transition over to being an electric brand as well. And with this level of uh, R&D happening and this level of testing happening, I think that they definitely have a good thing going. I mean, this bike, uh, there are elements of it that really, really win you over. I mean, for me, just the way that the rear wheel, wheels are done and you got these nice chunky uh, off-road tires the uh, nice gold uh, rims so we're talking about uh, you know really neat uh, setup over here all of it is just about getting detail right getting aesthetics right because with no motor to play around with that's always been a question when it comes to motorcycle aesthetics a scooter can be covered up you know, it can look like a standard scooter, but a motorcycle has always, the engine has just played such a vital part in the overall look and feel of a bike. So getting that ready and getting that done is what uh, this bike is all about. So that was just a quick look at their test bed and definitely one of the showstoppers here 
at Motorverse 2024.